it, you have to try this recipe. All you need is one pan. To some oil, add some onions, pinch of salt, and saute for a couple minutes. Now add garlic and ginger and stir in. Hit everything with some red curry powder and add in some curry paste. Now invite some light coconut milk to the party, a couple splashes of fish sauce, and another pinch of salt. After it has come to a light bubble, I'm gonna nestle in the salmon. I usually put the measurements on my Instagram. I love you if you follow me there too. Now on medium heat, you wanna cook the salmon about 10 minutes on one side. That one side should be the skin side down. Then after those 10 minutes cover, once the salmon looks like this, I like to toss it into the oven on broil. This step is optional just to get the surface a little bit crispier. And make sure your pans can handle the oven. After a couple minutes under the broiler, we have final product. Look how delicious that looks. And now bismillah. I swear to you, you will not regret if you try this, it's delicious. Start by cooking three pounds ground chuck over medium heat. Add in two diced onions and cook until the meat is brown. Strain the fat. I like to use a colander fitted over a mixing bowl. Add in four cloves of minced garlic, stir, then add in one can petite diced tomatoes, two small cans of tomato paste, two cans of beef broth, and a half a can of pale light beer. Stir in the spices, add in one can of light red kidney beans, stir, and then let the chili simmer on low for one and a half hours with the lid on. Here's how I build my bowl. Rotini noodles, chili, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and chives. It is so freaking good. Here's how I make the easiest ice cream sandwiches. Bake 24 pre-mixed chocolate chip cookies and allow to cool for an hour. Tear 12 pieces of foil and store in the freezer until it's time to assemble the sandwiches. Using two spoons, form the center with vanilla ice cream and place on the bottom cookie. You need semi-soft ice cream for this, so let it sit out for five to 10 minutes. Gently press down with the top cookie, Wrap each sandwich in foil and immediately put in the freezer. Grab this one at any time. This is how I make ramen noodles because I love being extra. Then slice your favorite vegetables. I have asparagus, zucchini, bell pepper, and onion. In a hot pan, start on some oil and add the veggies. After a couple minutes, toss in some sliced chicken. Hit them with a pinch of salt and then a little Cajun. Now start on the noodles. Usually I add measurements to the Instagram description. I love you if you follow me there too. Now strain out the noodles and add them to everything else. Now add in some new water. Add the packet seasonings and bring to a boil. Now pull out the noodles and spoon in some broth. Hit it with a little sriracha, a couple leaves of cilantro, and now we have final product. Now bismillah. Did you know that if you mix borax and honey and put it out where you have an ant infestation, all of the ants will come to drink the delicious honey and then it will kill them, solving your problem. Kind of Boy, oh, hey, I'll get you up and going. Yeah. I don't wanna fall asleep, I don't wanna pass away. I've been thinking of our future cause I'll never see the sun. J'étais et les gens font les hoppas, les gisons l'été.